Welcome back to the Lars Larson Show. It's a Conservative talk show host Lars Larson is under fire. Always glad to get your calls. Not for what he said on his nationally syndicated radio show. With the so-called whistleblower. But for what he said during an appearance on Fox News' Outnumbered Overtime. Lars, that was salty. Yes. With Harris Faulkner. I think it's important in a case where we're literally considering the removal of an American president. Although he has no first-hand knowledge, Larson publicly identified who he believes is the whistleblower connected to President Trump's dealings with Ukraine. People will say this is reckless and dangerous. How? How is it reckless and dangerous to name the person who's accusing the president of the United States of high crimes and misdemeanors? Well, my first reaction is to shrug it off. This is Lars Larson. After all, we know him as a, the clown prince of distraction. Political analyst Len Bergstein calls Larson's decision to out the suspected whistleblower a fundamental disservice to our democracy. And the reason the whistleblower statutes were set up was so that someone could come forward with the truth and know that they would be protected. If, in fact, what a Lars Larson can do in this case is say, oh, no, if you come forward, you're fair game and we're gonna make your life miserable. That will have a chilling effect on anybody, I think, coming forward. I, I named the whistleblower today. Lars Larson sees it differently what? and believes the person who may take down the president needs to be named. And I believe that all of official Washington knows, all of the press corps in Washington knows, and the only people who are being kept in the dark are the American people. And if you're talking about removing the president that was chosen by the American people, you have an obligation to tell them who's accusing. All right, as you might imagine, people are weighing in on social media, and those critical of Lars Larson's comments think he should be punished. But as he pointed out, Fox can't punish him because he's not an employee, just a guest. Laurel?